Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a law of attraction read to see what you are working on, see what you got going on, see what you're attracting in your life, growing success, and I guess I'll take that darkest before the dawn. So yeah, you were unsure about the success that was happening. There's oil on my cards. Huh, what is that? Uh, how to manifest. It must have been something that spilled in my card boxes over here, but Anyway, you're learning how to manifest and you're understanding that it's darkest before the dawn when it comes to it's manifested. Yeah, so your perspective is changing. Um, and it says gaining clarity, see other, see other sides, uh, consideration, impress us. It says impress, hold on, let's pull this closer. <laughs> impress versus facts. Okay, I said us. Impress, impression versus facts. Taking responsibility for your life. And that is what you're doing because at some point there was a type of lack of, uh, Growing success came in the reverse, which uh, it says abundance, generosity, be excited, stay on the path, improvement, manifesting, affluence. And so, therefore, you weren't able to manifest because you felt like this dark, darkest, darkest, the dark energy or the uh, painful feelings or the emotions that you were going through was not going to happen. But it's darkest before the dawn. And my sign here says the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. So always remember that. And it has little stars floating around. Remember the stars we used to get stickers? Well, they're not those, but they're little stars floating around in there. And I love it. Anyway, it says breakdown before breakthrough. Major shift is in progress. Dissolving barriers and ascendings. Uh, so it's just telling you basically to keep going. Keep going no matter how you feel. No matter how stagnant. How, how things may seem or may seem like they're not working in your favor and, or benefiting you it says how it's manifested and it's manifested so this is a really good read you are manifesting the things that you want by changing your perspective so you're understanding how to manifest even in dark times you're understanding that success comes when you believe believe you can and you're halfway there and you know it's like progress not perfection nothing is going to be perfect in the beginning but you have to understand the power of manifestation when I take those People call them sabbaticals, but to me, my sabbaticals is when I totally shut off everything and I sit still and I'm in the present moment. And I, I know that I can't change the future and I can't change the past. Uh, I can only work on my future, if that makes sense. And so how it's manifested, it says, um, state, thought, I am and I have. Believe, feeling like you have it, inspired action, no you just know it's done. You know it's done. You have to see it, envision it, right? And then have fun, align, and then receive. So that's the reason why I tell you guys, listen to the game of life and how to play it. Understand the four agreements. With the four agreements, you have to unlearn to relearn. With the, the game of life and how to play it, you have to understand that the power of your word, everything that you say, you visualize, and you speak to into existence, having old conversations. Let's talk about this. The reason why I kind of... Um, try to encourage you in my readings is because if we dwell on the past and not learn from it, we could be speaking that into existence. So that's the reason why before we end this, we leave that negative energy. I try to sh focus on the chakras and all the positive things and change your perspective of thanking the person for how they treated you because that taught you how to be where you are in this present moment. Does that make sense? She believed she could, so she did. And all my other signs, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. And so those things are the reason why you have to understand that your dreams demand hustle, you know, and so know your worth. And that's why you never give up when it comes to why you know you circle back all the time, right? It says circling back. It's a phrase. And it says, remember that thing you said you would do? Did you do it? So meaning if you said I was going to be this way, did you do that and stick to it? Those are boundaries. Those are boundaries. But it comes out of love because love grows here. You know, and that's why I'm the phoenix. You're, you also are the phoenix, and you're an asset, not a liability. And that's the reason why I have those things. And we basically have to understand that the reason why things happen the way they do is because we keep allowing things and people to take our kindness for weakness. So if we thank them, dream big, keep going, creativity takes courage, have the courage, the faith, and the inspiration to be able to know that our future is bright. That's why we got to wear shades. We have to just keep working on things. So it's manifested. I don't even remember if I read this. No, I didn't. It says new desired reality is already present in your life. New desired reality is already present in your life. You know that thing that you think about and you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. Those things that you started but you never finished, 
that's what the reality is of manifesting. You saw yourself achieving it, but what you did was saw what somebody, somebody else's pain and what they were going through, and you started to fix them, and you became codependent on their energy because you saw how much pain they actually went through or, or, or is going through or putting themselves through, if that makes sense. And so, therefore, we kind of respectfully dumb, dumb ourselves down in order to become a liability and not an asset. And so once we realize that we're assets again and we unlearn to relearn and get back uh, uh, to the point to where we're not keeping circle, we're not circling back every other time or every moment, once we get to that point, then things change. The tables start to turn. Tables turn, bridges burn. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the reason why you have to understand my perspective and it might sound repetitive it might sound a certain way but it's having hope in yourself and understanding that if it's meant it will come back to you if you speak it into existence and you keep dwelling on the negative and you keep focusing on what somebody gave or did to you or how they treated you without understanding how you felt at that present moment then you'll never learn from that and that's why we go into hermit mode if that makes sense so you have to know First of all, how to manifest and how to speak it into existence. Second of all, how to be still to know that it's going to be manifested or it's going to happen. But that's you changing, changing your perspective. And always remember that it's dark as before the dawn. It's a breakdown before a breakthrough. So when you have to end things, the, the death energy, the tower energy, unlearning to relearn. But the tower and, and unlearning to relearn is the hierophant energy you know, changing your belief system, but the tower are unexpected endings, you know, the death energy is change, it change has to be made, you know, and that's why it's dark as before the dawn, because you're putting yourself through a test, and no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher, this person, place, thing, or situation, whether it be a job, a family member, um, a situationship, was here to teach you a lesson, or even a relationship, or something that you believe at some point was failed, and that's the reason why you change your perspective, and you say, you know what, thank you, I'm not mad at you. That's the reason why I tell you practice the four agreements because whatever that person is going through, send strength and healing. If you learn your chakras and understand how to get through your emotions and know your worth, you're never going to give up on yourself. You can constantly keep investing into people, but at some point you have to know your worth and be able to take away, your, remove your energy and set the boundaries when you understand somebody shows you who they are. Believe them. You know, so change your perspective. It says gain, gain clarity again. See other sides. See other sides. Consideration. Impress, impressions versus facts. Take responsibility for your life. And that's sometimes changing your daily habits, right? Self-care, morning slash evening success routines. Make healthy choices. Cumulative effects. And then subliminals. So look at the subliminals. But it causes for you to have to evolve. And sometimes evolving means cutting people off, and sometimes we don't want to do it, but um, we have to, and that's where the growing success comes because you'll never grow if you don't realize why you had some type of lesson that needed to be learned. Does that make sense? And so that's kind of how I see that energy, uh -huh, burning karma. So it kind of came out unsure. So it says burning off past bad karma. It says step towards soul freedom, advancing towards your true potential, and that's what you have to do. But here's the Drakeon or Drake, Draco Neon, I don't know how to say that, money hungry and manipulative. These are the people, the takers that come into your life that teach you these lessons. So you can't be mad. It's a difficult road. Remember, darkest before the dawn. And this is a spirituality part. This is a part of you testing, learning, being tested and learning how to manifest things with uh, people that are around you that are takers. You're a giver. You're always going to give your energy, your last dime. You're going to give whatever it is, and you're going to learn learn, learn until it hits you. And like my friend always tells me, you know when you're tired of being tired. Nobody can tell you when to end a relationship. Nobody can tell you how to end a relationship. And nobody can tell you how your relationship went. And this is what you have to learn, that every relationship is different. What you accept, the other person, what you won't accept, another person will. And what another person won't accept, you might want to accept. But people are different. You know, people change, seasons change. You know, who is that? Um, I forget her name. Feelings change, people change, you know. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, if you know, you know. So burning karma. Is it karma if you keep dwelling and keep speaking that into existence? If you ever hear somebody say, my ears burn and somebody talking about me, I believe, and that's just my spirituality, my belief system, is that when your ears are burning and when they say that, is that somebody talking about you good or not? But if your ears are burning and somebody can constantly 
uh, um, is talking negative about you, those are spells that are being casted towards you. That's why you hear a lot of tarot readers and people say, you know, whatever it is, I send it back to you. No, and none of these things move me. Whatever somebody has going on in their life, none of it moves me. That's why I tell you guys respectfully, don't pray for me. Send strength and healing. That's the best thing you can do, period, because nothing else is attached to that. Does that make sense? And so when it comes to the Drake, Draconian, I think I said it right this time, money hungry and manipulative, adapt at fitting in like a chameleon, can unite people to work together. So this could be the type of energies you know, being a chameleon is somebody changing their faces. This might not be your energy, but burning the karma, burning off past bad karma, you're learning how to do it. Step towards soul freedom, advancing towards your true potential. So not having success and not real and realizing why you're in hangman energy, because it's darkest before the dawn, you have to learn the lesson out of dealing with everyone. Again, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. These person, place, things, or situation, we're here to teach you a lesson. So if you understand that, you don't want to wish karma on anybody. You know what? To that person that taught me this lesson of how to stop giving, 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 I send strength and healing, period. Their ear's not burning. You know what they're doing? That's Cupid shooting an arrow of love and forgiveness, and they realize how and why they screwed up in your life and why you left them. If they don't learn that lesson, then they're going to keep doing that to everyone else. But at this point, you're going to set boundaries for this situation. And it's a difficult road. Spirit of perseverance. And it says being prepared for great things. That's understanding how it's manifested. And it's manifested by changing your perspective and realizing that it gets it's harder before it, it gets happy. Or it's darkest before the dawn. And that causes you don't realize this. It's like no success here because you're not learning your lesson. You're just going to keep constantly going through the wheel, the wheel of fortune, until you change your spirituality and understand that none of these things move me. None of these things that anybody else does move me. Say your piece, speak your mind, and move forward. And whatever they have going on, you know what? If they treated you like this, send strength and healing. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, if they took something for you, if they was dishonest, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, if I helped you in some kind of way, you must have needed it more than I do. But guess what? It's going to come back to me. My blessings come tenfold. And that's how you got to know all that karma and understanding and going through. You don't need none of that. And that's a part of you learning how to heal. You believe in yourself and not anyone else. You can't believe, have somebody. And again, Here's the thing with the game of life and how to play it. They say if two people believe, if you and another person believes, then you'll be successful because that extra energy and that's positivity. So if I support you or if you support me, I thank you. And if I support you and you screw me over, then you know what? You must have needed it more than I do and you must be going through something. But at some point, I'm the type of person that's very honest. So I say my truth and I move forward. Whatever you do from here, that's on you. You know, it's a difficult role for you, not me. Is that my, am I wishing karma on you? No, I'm not. I'm just saying basically whatever the situation is, you must have needed it more than I did. And the universe told me to give it to you and I did it. Does that make sense? So I changed my perspective on what you're going through, not what I'm going through or what I allow you to put me through because I'm able to manifest. And that's the difference between me and you or me and other people who are going through a lot of stuff and are not honest with themselves. So I'm not going to change for change who I am. I just know how to set boundaries, speak my peace, and to move forward. And that's why I love the game of life and how to play it. I love the four agreements and also codependency, Melanie Beattie, codependent no more. Because guess what? If you can sleep at night and you do people wrong, that's on you. It'll all come back to you, but I'm not wishing that on you. I send strength and healing to you, period. So spirituality, again, it says becoming more spiritually aware, more spiritually focused, and choosing a spiritual path. And that's the lessons, damn, lessons is right under here. That's the lessons that you have to learn, seeing the bigger picture. I see the bigger picture. I'm not where I'm at because I did people wrong. I have blessings and keep having blessings because I refuse to do people wrong. No matter how they treat me, I just have to cut you off. Nine times out of ten, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. Okay, it was something ringing. It was something ringing. and <laughs> It was my phone, but it was my grandbaby FaceTiming me. And I can hear it. But anyway, so your spirituality teaches you the lessons. And sometimes it's like resistance here where it says feeling lost, empty, and alone, wanting old life back, fear, fearing your transformation. Now, when you go through the spirituality, you know, and learning to trust and learn how to manifest the things that you want, it all comes with looking at things as lessons. And the resistance happens because you don't, I mean, it's hard. And that's where you have to realize 
that no success or not no success, I'm not going to say that that way, but the lack and things like that happen when you're going through a spiritual lesson. That's why they say it is darkest before the dawn. And, you know, the resistance says feeling lost, empty and alone, wanting old life back and fearing transformation. So when that happens, those are the difficult lessons that you have to learn. Seeing the bigger picture, learning important lessons in life and overcoming difficult lessons. And that's a part of choosing your spiritual path, the things that you want to believe in your belief system, higher fan energy, unlearning to relearn, but learn, but it takes for difficult choice, difficult roads and dealing with certain type of people, you know, energy suckers, vampire suckers, takers and not givers, you know, those type of people that put you to the test, but that's all a part of the burning karma, burning off past karma, step towards your soul freedom about you changing your spirituality and the things that you're willing to accept again. I'm stressing that a lot because I want you to really kind of understand what it means and how you feel. And in the process of this, this is the panther, I think, deck. Yeah, you feel like people have been bullying you, but then you become triumphant. You know, it says embarrassment, gossip, and um, what is it, unwillingness. And then, yeah, um, so it says rights, ceremonies. You, you, you gain your spiritual rights, you know, it's, uh, and it says ceremonies, magic, and mystery. But you gain the right to change your spirituality and understand that, you're able to look at things in a different perspective or a different manner by you manifesting and you having success. And it says libation, donation, pray, and religion. Again, spirituality. You learn the difference between you trusting in someone or trusting in yourself and learning the lessons that happen. And that's where the bullying, the embarrassment, the gossip, the unwillingness teaches you about the difficult road that you go through by dealing with certain people or certain types of energies in your life so I'm gonna pull from the finance deck to see what it is that you've been working on or what it is that has caused you to feel some type of way the cards turned over rescuer yeah it was in the reverse I hope you guys can't yeah when you feel like the gifts aren't giving or you know that all the gifts that you're oh look at that so I turned it over because this is the way it fell out and this is the way it stayed. So let's let's go ahead and take it growth. Yeah, you're realizing the lessons of seeing your different perspective. So the rescuer, if you saw it, the rescuer and the gift came in the reverse. So again, you're not rescuing people anymore. That's a part of learning these difficult lessons. You're not giving the gifts that you normally would. That's where the success reversed comes from. And then unreliable, you're not dealing with unreliable people. There's some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises and not paying on time. Unexpected money may not materialize. So again, like I said, I don't want to put it out there that you aren't successful, but there's a lot of lack there. And your story is going to be the difference on what changes that. And that's how you learn. So you're moving forward and you're telling your truths by counseling others. And that's a part of growing up, growth and growing up. You know, it's time to step it up and to really realize that you're the asset, not the liability. And these other people who are unreliable, that pull and takers, right, are, are, are the liabilities and you're the asset. But science, it all comes with you learning how to deal with certain situations, solving the problems, learning the different lessons. And that's the consequences of your actions when it comes to the justice energy and you have to promote yourself. Nobody is going to be your biggest promoter. And the past is a lesson, you know, listening to the music, things like that, which will always draw you back in. You know, it'll always draw you back in. And then you have to realize why the arguments were there. It was never about money to you. It was about if somebody was reliable enough and if you gave too much of your time. And that's the lesson that you've learned. And that's what you're going to counsel once you realize what it is and the growth that has to happen, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see it. And if that's not how you see it, that's fine. But these are the lessons and changing your perspective is what I probably will name this. Changing your perspective. That's my remote control. Changing your perspective when it comes to da, 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 counselor. Again, how you counsel people, how you help people, how you move forward in order to be a healer. You must come from a healed place, and that is key of the situation. You know, that's the key, changing your perspective and realizing that you cannot heal a broken person. You have to heal yourself, or you can't pour from an empty cup. You have to fill your cup up 
And that's the crossroads that we all come to when we're going through growth and spirituality, when our spirituality is being tested, and also when we are changing our religion or our belief systems, pouring from, and I didn't even look at that, pouring from one cup to another, you know, and how you do it. Religion, donations, and praying, how you do that. And in the process of that, that is how you see the things that need to be changed within your life and being able to move forward, if that makes sense. I don't even need to pull tarot, but, of course, I'm going to. I'm going to pull from the Intuit Tarot deck to see what comes out. But you had to learn, yeah, Six of Swords, when and how to walk away. It says, better times are ahead. It's dark as before the dawn. These are the lessons you had to learn. Tranquility, overcoming hardship, conflicts resolved, becoming stable, restoration, and peace. This is walking away from the things that no longer serve you and being calm and peaceful about it and understanding that there's a lesson. Hold on a card here. And the card that comes out is the Nine of Cups. Follow a, wait, wait, a hollow feeling. Self-indulgent, materialistic, selfish, imbalanced, addiction, emptiness, overindulgent, and excess. You were doing things out of excess that caused you to feel empty, and therefore people's materialistic type of inner, taking type of behavior, meaning causing you to feel empty and um, always worried about material, right, liabilities, right? Instead of investing, they're always worried about material. Oh, wait, did you see that? I didn't know this card. Judgment, the realization, needing to step it up. So that is where you are. You needed to step it up. And it says, indecisiveness, self-doubt, unwilling to learn karmic lessons, karmic burning the karma, right? And then it says uh, negative self-talk. And so that's where the success was, the lack of moving forward is, is what I'll say, and not lack of success. Because you're successful in your own right because you've showed these people a lot. You've showed these people a lot. However, they just took, took, took your energy to where you were depleted. Does that say, does that make sense? You were depleted and five of wands, harmony restored, harmony, situations resolved, finding common ground, cooperation and solutions. You found a solution and that's called growth and being at a cross, growth from being at a crossroads by changing your perspective, your perspective, uh, spirituality and not having conflict anymore. Because you found a common ground within yourself, and that's how you change your perspective, if that makes sense. And that is where we are when it comes to this situation. I just want to leave it at this. I don't want to pull any more cards, but, you know, I'm going to pull from the four agreements. Like I tell you, find the four agreements. It's, it's, you can listen to my perspective of it, and you can't master the fifth agreement without mastering the one through four. And nobody's perfect, so everybody, you know, tends to slip back. Oh, look, I messed my thing up. Everybody tends to slip back and feel some type of way when it comes to setting boundaries, and therefore that's when the lesson starts over again because we turn around and we still do the same thing that we did before, and then we get upset with ourselves. So, again, nobody's perfect, but you have to be impeccable with your words. Release the need to be right. So you're not going to argue with a person or try to prove to a person, which you've done it before, how you are and why you are the way that you are and how you're changing and the reason you change. You just have to step it up and change, you know? And it's because you feel emptiness when you're trying to tell someone or show somebody what it is that they're going through. And here's the thing. You'll get a lot of people who don't want to hear the positive energy that you're going through Because of the fact that people like negativity. People want to hear negativity. But the power of manifestation and the power of your words is like saying curses. You're cursing somebody by you speaking and their ears are constantly burning. When you steady have these old conversations and the old conversations are, girl, you remember when this person did that? No, I learned my lesson because of this. Thank them. You're not mad at them? No, I'm not mad at them. None of the things that they did moved me. It taught me a lesson. I'm not upset anymore. I've moved forward from my past. I've dealt with my demons. I moved forward from my past, and I've changed the way I see things and how I deal with people. Release the need to be right. How I feel, they might not feel. So, therefore, the thing is is that you have to be able to feel some type of way and learn what it is that you feel. Does that make sense? And so there you have it. 
Now it says, when you believe something, you assume you are right and you, have, you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. You have nothing to defend when it comes to you knowing that you did something right. But just because you feel like you've done something right doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they feel like you did something right. They could have called you a crazy, nagging person and had their own perspective of how they saw you. And you like, no, all I tried to do was tell you that you had this going on and I tried to be your best cheerleader and you took my kindness for weakness. Okay, so the next thing, and what I was saying is that, yeah, release the need to be right. But, sorry, my mom might call me. But the thing is, is that, you know, you have to look at it from a different perspective and understand that these were lessons. You had to walk away. You had to release. You had to, you know, go through stepping it up for yourself it has nothing to do with anybody else you had to step it up for yourself so um if you guys want to know about the four agreements the way i view them put them um i put the link up above and then also the chakras i caught it with my leg <laughs> the chakras come out uh and i understand the chakras is up here as well so if you want to look that up then look up there otherwise you have the heart chakra like i said to you guys before don't pray for me Sense, strength, and healing, period. That is no attachments. My ears don't have to burn with all the additional things you have going on. Or just send strength and healing, period, to whoever taught you this lesson. Abundance, creativity, and empathy. This is who you are. Abundance, creativity, and empathy. When you feel the need to help takers and people who are, you know, um, take your kindness for weakness and like we said, uh, not reliable or the Drakeon, however you say it, energies, then you start, your empathy starts to go away and you feel lack and you feel like, why are you being put to the test? And that goes with you reaching a crossroads and understanding that you have to find harmony in this situation, right? Change your spirituality and perspective. So when this happens, you have to go back and center yourself, your heart chakras, which is you sending strength and healing period to a person, place, thing, or a situation and say none of the things that they've done moved you, it taught you a lesson. So I give, I give and receive loving, empathetic energy. You're not going to let anybody change you, no matter how tough they were with you or how, how big of a lesson you had to learn. You're not going to let anybody change your empathetic nature or the way that you love, but you're changing your spirituality by setting boundaries and realizing that not everybody in your life is meant to go the full distance with you or is meant to give you the love that you deserve. They're takers, and they're there for a reason to teach you boundaries. So thank them. There you have it. But when you start to doubt yourself, go back to look and listen to this reading. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn-out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.